from Minnesota's most watched station. This is WCCO 4 News. The Twins closed out their season tonight. They also said goodbye to a big part of their history over the past 25 years. The timber is swinging and a mess of a slider down the way. Good pitch from Pavano. Strikeout for Carol Pavano, his first of the game. Yeah, that is John Gordon, the voice of Twins Radio, called his last game tonight. He was honored in a pregame ceremony before the Twins Royals game, and John Lordson was on the field for that goodbye. And John, I have to imagine that this was pretty emotional. Yeah, it really was. You know, Amelia, so many Twins fans grew up listening to John Gordon and his distinct radio voice, including me. He began his career, ironically, in 1987 when the team won their first World Series title. He ends it tonight as the team caps off one of their worst records in franchise history. But none of that seemed to matter tonight as friends and fans say goodbye to the man they call Gordo. Hey, Twins baseball is on the air from Target Field in downtown Sounds like any other game John Gordon has called over the past quarter century. But this isn't just a baseball game. It's a goodbye to a voice made for baseball. But he was good. I liked listening to him. He was good. Before the first pitch tonight, several of Gordon's broadcasting friends paid him an emotional tribute. And afterwards, his sidekick for the past 11 seasons, Dan Gladden, finally talked Gordon into taking a ride on a Harley. The sun sets on Gordon's broadcast career. Fans tonight say they'll remember him most for his touch em all calls whenever a Twins player hit a home run. His voice was beautiful. Yeah, voice was nice. It was there, it was robust. And he did a very nice job. Touch em all, Kirby Puckett. Puckett swings and hits a blast. Deep left center, way back, way back. It's gone. The Twins go to the seventh game. Gordon considers one of his greatest moments his call during Game 6 of the 91 World Series, and it was the only time he said touch them all twice. Touch them all, Kirby Puckett! Touch them all! And there's no doubt that touch them all touched the hearts of Twins fans. Uh, I said I wanted to come tonight because he was retired. He's got a big shoes to fill for somebody. <laughs> Yeah, he sure does. And as John Gordon rides off in a Twins history, we did capture his last radio call for you. Here it is. So to all you great people out there listening to Twins baseball, thank you for letting me into your homes wherever. I'll sneak in here a time or two. I know that. But from now, I'm going to give my wife and my kids and my grandkids a big hug and relax and just say, touch them all, Twins fans. You are the best. From Target Field, so long, everybody, on your home for Minnesota Twins baseball. And Amelia, obviously a very emotional John Gordon as he sent his last goodbyes tonight. He was, uh, obviously his voice was cracking there a little bit. Hey, they had a nice tribute to him as well. They're going to name the home radio booth here, the John Gordon Broadcast Booth. It'll be Aww. that next year. So, yeah, a very nice night for him. Emotional, of course. And the Twins avoided 100 losses on top of all of it in exciting How fashion. I'm sure Mark Rosen will have those highlights for you. Well deserved because he, he's such a good guy, too. So, yeah, good he luck really to is. him. Very nice guy. All right. Yeah. Thank you, John.